Hi, this is Doug Wolf from Boise State University, and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to create a pop-up reference page by repositioning the actors that make up that reference page. Okay, so the basic idea is that we're going to constrain all the actors that comprise the reference page to a couple of game attributes that set the X coordinate and the Y coordinate for the pop-up. So anytime that we want to move the box on and off the screen, we just change those coordinates by changing the game attributes and everything else will shift accordingly because for all the actors that make up our, page, our reference page, we'll tie them all into that same set of coordinates. Okay, I've saved a little bit of time by creating a couple of uh, some actors and also by creating some game attributes. Uh, let's look at the game attributes first. The um, first one is pop-up X, and that is the X coordinate for I, where I want the pop-up to appear, and that's an integer. And then pop-up Y is the Y coordinate where I want it to appear, and it doesn't really matter what these initial values are. I've just set them to the X1 to minus 250 to make sure that if I do something goofy and forget something in the code, that for sure this pop-up will not appear on screen when the game starts. Um, so that's why it's set to a negative number. And then the other uh, custom game attribute that I've created is called Show Pop-Up, and it is a Boolean. And uh, it is just a little flag that I'm using to let me know whether or not the pop-up is currently displayed. Okay, so let's start building our pop-up. Um, first, I've made an actor called Main Pop-Up, and this is just a, uh, a blue background that will be the background for our uh, our pop-up. And then we've got uh, a couple of actors here. Content 1 is just a simple actor where I can place some text for the pop-up. And Content 2 is another simple actor where I can place some content for the pop-up. Okay, so uh, now we just need to do a little bit of setting of uh, some constraints on attributes, and uh, we'll be ready to get started. So uh, let's first work on the main pop-up, and I'm going to do all my coding in the prototype actors rather than in the instance actors, and the reason for that is that that will make it easier if I want to use this reference page in a number of different scenes in my game. There's really nothing that's, at least in this example that's unique to a particular instance that needs special code. So all the code can go in the prototype. And that way also if I need to change something, I only have to change it once and it changes it throughout my whole game. So the first thing we need to do in uh, the main pop-up prototype actor is we need to constrain its position. So we do constrain attribute and I want to constrain its, oops, its X position to be equal to that pop-up X coordinate uh, or attribute that I created. And then we'll do the same thing for the Y coordinate that will set the coordinate for the Y coordinate for itself to be equal to our game dot pop up y. Okay, and that's all we need to do with that actor. Now we're going to do something similar with content one. And again, I'm going to work in the prototype here. And I'm going to constrain its x coordinate. But this time, if you take a look at this, this box, and it's a little hard to see because um, I can only make this left column so skinny and I've got this off screen, but basically the idea is we want this content one to be on the left side of the pop-up window. So it will need to be set to pop-up X plus some amount. And I know because I've tried this out before that if I, oh, excuse me, I need to subtract 105 and that'll put it in about the right place. With this kind of thing, I usually make a guess, and then I try
try it and I'll make some adjustments later if I need to. Okay, and then we're going to constrain the Y coordinate for content one. Um, and in this case, I don't need any offset because I want it to be centered vertically. Oops. And so I can just set it to game.popupy. I don't need to add or subtract anything from that. Okay, and then there's one more thing that this needs, and it, it needs some content. So we're going to display some text in this actor. And um, let's just say this is the content on the left side. And Arial 30 point will work for this example. We're going to wrap the text inside the actor. And let's make the text red. Okay. And then we're going to do something similar here for the prototype actor for content 2. So we're going to set its X position to be based on pop-up X. But this time we need it to appear to the right of the center. And so we need to add 105 rather than subtract 105. And again, depending on your game, you may need different numbers here. Um, you'll just have to play with it. And this is where I really wish you could just type code and have it work, but Game Salad really wants you to pick the variables out of these menus most of the time in order for them to work properly. Okay, and again, no offset needed for pop up, the pop-up Y position. And then we need some text. So this is the content on the right side. And Arial 30 points, wrap it, and let's make it blue. Okay. So almost there. The last thing we need is we need our pop-up button. And I'm going to just put it in the corner here. And I'm going to use the same button to show the box and also to dismiss it. Um, you could do this by instead by having one button that shows it and a different button inside the box that dismisses it. But for simplicity, I'm just going to make it one button that does both things. So the first thing we're going to need here is we are going to need a rule. And that rule is going to be when touch is, we could use touch is pressed, but I prefer using touch is released. The reason being that if a user uh, starts to tap the button and then realizes, wait a minute, I didn't really want to do that. If you use release, they can slide their finger off before they pick it up and that way it won't activate the button. So that's just a little nicer thing to do. Okay, so when touch is released, then we need to do something. And what we're actually going to do here, and I'm going to pop this window bigger so that you can see this. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to insert a nested rule inside the do here. So we're first going to check to see if we've touched the button. If yes, then we're going to then check um, to see... Um, if the attribute, that little flag that I created, that show pop-up, we're going to check to see if it is false. Okay, so we're checking to see, did we touch the button? Yes. Are we currently not showing the pop-up? And we're currently, and if we're currently not showing the pop-up, then we need to show it. So in this do, we will then go in change the attribute and this is where we're just going to change the x and y coordinates of that all those actors by changing game pop up x and i want to put it right in the center of the screen so i'm going to put it at 240 because that's the center of the screen with the resolution that i'm using for this game which is uh, the basic iphone resolution and then we need to do the oops sorry change attribute and we need to set the Y coordinate as well. So we set pop up Y to be 160. Okay, and then the last thing we need to do is 
Now that we've moved our pop-up into the center of the screen, and all those actors are going to come with it because they're all based on this game.popupx and game.popupy variables, now we need to just change our flag. So change that game show pop-up flag to be true because we're now displaying that pop-up. Okay, so that's what happens if we um, if we're not showing it. But suppose I touch the button and the pop-up is currently being displayed. Well, then I want to hide it. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all this code and change a few values. So I want I'm going to want to change the x coordinate. So down here into the else area, I'm going to change the x coordinate to be minus 250, which will set the box off screen. Um, I don't really need to change the Y coordinate, but I'm going to do that anyway, just so that later on, if I'm looking at the code, I can clearly see what's going on with my Y coordinate. I don't have to guess about what its value might be. And then finally, we need to reverse the value of the uh, game show pop up and change it to false. And with any luck, if I haven't made any mistakes, we should be able to run this now and have everything work okay. So let's hit the button. And okay, I got the content from the left side. I'm missing the right side. So what happened there? Let's go take a quick look at that content too. And let's see. Oh, I know what I did. Yes, I was supposed to, in content 2, I was supposed to do a constraint attribute, not a change attribute. So you can see we all make mistakes. So um, I'm just going to need to, I can keep my display text. Um, but it's these little things that will get you. So I want to constrain this actor's X position to be game pop-up X plus 105 and constrain the actor's Y position to be game pop-up Y. All right, let's try that again. And there you go. We've got all these actors moving in sync with one another. All right, I will post a copy of this code up onto the uh, Moodle site so that uh, you'll have that as an example to look at. And email me if you have any questions.